Come on, I'm I'm rolling. It's I literally could I don't I didn't stop filming. <laughs> Over the light. Really? <laughs> I caught it. All right. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video, which is my monthly favorites video. And this is for the month of April. Um, I usually call this my faves and fails, but actually this month I couldn't really think of very many fails, if any, and they weren't really worth putting into the video. So <laughs> this is just gonna be favorites. Um, I'm going to cover luxury, non-luxury, skincare, makeup, books, TV, bags, you know, everything that I just really enjoyed this month. So April is over by the time you're seeing this and it went by quickly, but it also was so jam packed. It, um, yeah, it seemed like a long time ago that we went to San Diego in the beginning of the month for our vacation. That was definitely a favorite. Um, so yeah, a lot happened this month and here we are already in May. I can't believe it. We're almost to summer, which is just crazy. So I am going to start, I think I'm going to start with skincare and makeup. So the first item I'm going to share with you guys is from Innisfree. And this is the Intensive Hydrating Serum. I will try to get a little close up of this little trial size. I got this from Sephora. Um, I made a small purchase in their semi-annual sale. I just bought a few things, which I'll get to in a second. But this is one of the little samples that I got with my points that I had earned. And this is a hydrating serum with green tea seed. It feels so good. I put this on in the morning after cleansing. It has an amazing fragrance to it and I normally don't like fragrance, but this just smells so fresh and clean and kind of has that green tea scent to it. So I super love this. In fact, I'm already kind of getting through it a little bit. So, if I continue to love this until it's gone, I may go ahead and purchase the full size. I am gonna link everything down below, by the way, if possible, that I'm mentioning in this video so you can check it out for yourself. So that is the first skincare item. The next skincare item is from Eucerin. This is the Age Defense Hyaluronic Acid SPF 50 sunscreen uh, for the face. This is actually new to me and it's, I think, new in their line. I'm just trying it out this month and I really, really love it. It goes on really smooth. It does not leave a white cast. It's comparable to me to the L to MD sunscreen, which is far more expensive. This is from the drugstore and, um, I'm really loving it. I'm always in trying new sunscreens and I'm always looking for something that has a really nice, um, feeling on the face obviously protects and uh, doesn't leave a cast and stays on <laughs> and isn't like sticky or greasy. So this is a really good one to try and it made my favorites list for this month. I also have a makeup favorite. I just got these from Sephora and I've been trying them out. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid or Cream Eyeshadow. I've never tried this brand before, but I've been interested in trying them out since I heard about them on Robert Welsh's uh, makeup channel, and I will link him down below. He's an amazing YouTuber. If you like makeup, you should definitely watch him. And every other Monday, he has uh, ghost stories on his channel, which is super entertaining. He's great. And he did an interview with the owner of Rare Beauty, who happens to be Selena Gomez, the actor and singer. And I really enjoyed that video. And so I decided to try this out. And this is indeed amazing stuff. It goes on. I'm actually wearing it right now on my eyelids, but it goes on with this kind of wand, almost like a lip gloss, but you put a little on your eyelids and then use your finger to blend it in and it dries down completely dry and just stays in place. And then you can put more color over the top of it or just a shimmer or whatever you want. And it's wonderful. It's a very 
uh, neutral matte finish and so you can leave it matte or you can put you know something a little more shiny on top if you want that kind of look on your eyes but I really enjoy this it's a great formula so that is another favorite from this month and finally in this category I have a little fragrance sample that I've been trying and I already love it I might buy it we'll see it's from Louis Vuitton and it is Cosmic Cloud. I'm going to try to just show this to you even though it's just a little <laughs> a little sample tube, but it's Cosmic Cloud. It's a newer fragrance. It's from their Extraits, Estrates line, which means it's an extract and it's a lot stronger than a typical parfum. And I am not good at describing fragrances, so you can go online to their website. I'll link it down below. You can check it out, but I love this because it's not too sweet or fruity. It just has a really warm, musky finish on it, especially with my chemistry. You know how fragrance, it can be great on one person and disagreeable on someone else. But on me, I love how it smells after it's been on my skin and dried down after like a half an hour. It stays on for a long time. And it just has a really lovely musky kind of scent with a little bit of floral, but not too, too floral. See, I told you I couldn't describe fragrances. <laughs> so that is the skincare and cosmetics favorites. And next, what am I gonna talk about? I'm gonna talk about this book. This is The Dutch House by Ann Patchett. I read this book this month and I also read another book of hers called Run and I absolutely loved this and thank you to Patricia for recommending this to me. Um, I'll link her channel because she's awesome, I might as well. But she told me on Instagram that I should read this and I really, really enjoyed it. It was one of those ones where I just, you know, just kept wanting to read it and I would stay up too late reading it. <laughs> because it's a really great story. So I recommend this book and her other book, Run, which is is uh, quite a bit older, but um, I think this one is newer. It, I think this one just came out um, a couple years ago. So read that. And so in handbags, um, I have a couple favorite bags from this month. First one is the one I took with me to San Diego. This is the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag. I saw Hello Catwalk City, Hannah, do a video about this a few weeks before we left for our trip. And she did such a good job reviewing this. <laughs> and it was uh, such a good price, $38, that I thought, you know, that would be perfect for our trip when we're walking around at the zoo or you know, just sightseeing and stuff like that to have something like this that I can wear crossbody like this. And it holds basically everything I would need. I'm not gonna review it right now, but I'm just gonna link it. Um, you know, wallet and keys and phone and you know, a few other little essentials. It has a back pocket right here where I put my hotel key. It has I'll take this little thing out of here. Inside it opens up really wide and it has um, web pockets and it expands and it holds a surprising amount. So I definitely recommend. Now there is one thing you need to know about this. This particular style is discontinued on the site, just this particular one. They did a redesign of this bag. So this is the one that is being discontinued. I don't know if you can still get it. This one has the black on black, black zipper and black um, zipper pull. Everything on this whole entire bag is black. The nylon is very thick. It reminds me of Longchamp nylon. It's very sturdy and durable, almost like Prada nylon in fact. This is a high, heavy gauge nylon material and it's awesome. So I don't know if you can buy this one anymore but they did redesign it with a longer strap and yes, I bought that one too. I couldn't help it because it came out in this cute magenta, purpley pink color. And so this one has a longer strap on it, which 
maybe useful for, for someone who's bigger or taller than me, but I just love this color. But when I got this, I realized some of the changes that were made to the design. Um, the zipper is now um, silver hardware, as is the little logo right there. And the nylon itself feels a lot thinner. It feels like um, the nylon on a windbreaker, like a thin jacket, or even the nylon on like a reusable nylon grocery shopping bag that you might take to the store. It has that kind of very thin feel to it. And so that was a little disappointing because I loved the durability of the first one I got, but it's still a great bag. I'm gonna actually just throw it on so you can see how it looks. I just wear it like this and I'll stand up so you can kind of get an idea. It sits right here. You can change it obviously for your height. And then if you're going hiking or going, you know, if you're on vacation or something, you just get everything out of there. Very light, hands-free. So this is an awesome bag. I definitely still recommend it, even with the design changes, because the price is still the same. It's still $38. It comes in a variety of different colors, and um, it's cute as can be. Lululemon, Lululemon, <laughs> they make really good stuff. They have other bags too. They have lots of different nylon bags you can get for, for travel and um, active outdoors stuff. So I do recommend this. The next bag in my favorites list is the one right here, the Tory Burch Soft Fleming in almond flower in the glazed leather. I wore this quite a bit this month. I'm still loving it. It's perfect for me. I recommend it. See if you can get it on sale. I unfortunately couldn't, though I did get 10% off because I signed up for emails and you get 10% off if you are registering on their site for the first time, uh, Tory Burch. And this is a fabulous leather flat bag. I love the very strong magnetic closure. I love how spacious it is inside and the different pockets and organization, which while they're there, they also don't take up too much room because sometimes too many compartments take space away from the bag. And I love the leather. It's soft, but it's not so soft that you feel like you're going to scratch it every time you use it. And I also love the color. It's a beautiful tan neutral beige color. So this was one of my favorite bags from April. Next on my list of favorites was a TV show that I watched this month on Hulu. I watched the whole thing. It was called Life and Beth. It starred Amy Schumer. She was also the creator of the show. It was kind of a dark comedy, kind of. It went to all different kinds of places. She was a star and also Michael Sarah is in it. And it's hard to describe, but it's just about this one woman's kind of journey through making huge changes in her life and um, dealing with the death of her mother. And I hope that's not a spoiler, though that is kind of in the first episode. But um, yeah, I, I loved it. It was a great show. It's um, definitely, you know, for adults only. <laughs> on Hulu. But if you like Amy Schumer and you like uh, well-written, well-told uh, stories about women and about people, then I highly recommend that show. Um, last in my favorites video, I'm going to discuss, oh, another show. Another show, it's also a shirt. <laughs> this is a shirt that <laughs> just arrived in the mail today. And I bought this for my husband. Um, as part of an, our anniversary present. This is um, the Moon Knight, Moon Knight t-shirt um, from New Rockstars. Um, Moon Knight is a new Marvel show on Disney Plus that we've been watching. It is really, really good. The uh, Oscar Isaac is in it and Ethan Hawke is in it. And those are two actors that I love and respect. I don't think Ethan Hawke has ever been in anything Bad. He has been good in everything he's ever been in, and I have been following his career since Dead Poet Society back in the 80s, I think, was when he made his debut. Um, I've always liked everything he's done, and I always say one of the things I one of the things I love the most about Ethan Hawke, and uh, you'll know what I mean if you if you see him, 
is he's never gotten his teeth fixed. And in Hollywood, I think that's pretty bold. He has, you know, crooked teeth, kind of like me. <laughs> and he's just never bothered to get braces or get them fixed or straightened or anything, even though he could obviously afford to do that. And he's probably had agents and people telling him to get his teeth fixed, and he never has. And I just love that about him. He just doesn't care. Um, though, that said, I think if it was a female actor, she probably would have been definitely required to get her teeth fixed. So it is probably, that's probably part of it. But I do love that he has kept his, his um, imperfect smile. Uh, Oscar Isaac is also brilliant. He is such a good actor. You've got to watch this show. Even if you're not into um, Marvel or whatever superheroes, this doesn't really even have a lot of superhero stuff in it, in my opinion. It's more supernatural and psychological and um, there's just a lot to pay attention to. So I really am enjoying that show. It is still on. I think they have one episode remaining. And so last but not least, um, I'm going to talk about the shirt I'm wearing, and that's it. This is from Everlane, and it is the Micro Pima Cotton T-shirt. It's a half-sleeve tee. I'm going to make sure, yeah, Pima Micro Rib Scoop Neck Tee, and I will link that in the description box. I was looking for some new basics. I needed some new t-shirts that were not short sleeved and I love an elbow or three quarter sleeved t-shirt because I can wear it in spring and fall when the weather isn't too extreme and that way I can still enjoy my bracelets and my wristwatch and everything and not be wearing long sleeves. <laughs> That's my rationalization for getting some new t-shirts. So I got um, black and gray and then I got another one that was on back order, so I'll probably get that in a couple weeks. Anyways, so that is it for my April favorites. Thank you so much for watching. What were your favorites from the month of April? Please leave me a comment down below, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.